Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass here, and welcome to Witch's Heart. Witch's Heart is about a girl who gets stuck in a semi-horror situation. And it's up to her if she wants to escape to find out the secret of the Witch's Heart. This game contains violent scenes and grotesque imagery. This story is fiction, no relation to real people, etc. is intended. Now relax and enjoy the story that unfolds in the Cursed Witch's Mansion. <laughs> Ouch. She's okay. That was cute. I'll give it credit for that. It's like a it's like a Saturn gain opening. Oh wow. This song. Heard this a lot. Witch's Heart. That's the name of the storybook I've always loved since I was little. The storybook. It's a little unusual, actually. From region to region, there are many books sharing the same title, but with different contents. Language's House, Mogeko Castle, The Story of Hollywood. Even though they're all storybooks titled Witch's Heart, they're completely different stories from beginning to end. Oh, and I should clarify, the offers are all different, too. Pokemon? People speculate which is the original but no one really knows. At any rate, I'll summarize a few of those stories I've read. You look very pompous. I like your facial expressions already. Witch's Heart by Ilhi Alburn? Manly Badass Hero said. The story is about a girl who gets lost in the woods and is taken by a witch to her house. The most noble part is the scene where the girl's pure feelings move the witch's heart. Okay, next one. Witch's Heart, by Cassie Grundy. In this story, a girl in love uses an evil witch's magic <laughs> to make her rival fall in... Rival in love move to another country. However, it's a price for using the magic. The witch takes away the girl's heart. Without her heart, the girl becomes an emotionless doll, like my soul. By absorbing the power of the girl's heart, the witch is able to use even more powerful magic. This one's a little tragic. But then again, maybe it's just karma. And this last one is my favorite. Witch's Heart, by Kevin Martinez. In this story, a witch living by herself in the woods nurses a man who had an accident there. I see what this book is for. It portrays all the intricacies of the witch's heart and the young man's heart. And not a soul alive can keep from crying at the last scene in which the two must go their separate ways. I hate that. Such a cop-out. Completely different stories, aren't they? However, there is something all these stories have in common. They're all wrong? Which is this takeaway? The witch's heart can make wishes come true. Don't you think that's sort of wonderful? If somebody told you they'd grant any wish, what would you do? Me? Money? First of all, I'd want to live in a house made of sweets. Screw that! Wish for money! And make a house of sweets. And I'd snarf down entire cakes. That's always been my dream. I'd have a fancy orchid for a garden. If I got hungry, I would just stuff my cheeks with apples. Just wish for money, and then just buy all the apple orchids in the world. At night, I'd get comfy bathing in tea with roses floating in it. And surround my stuffed animals, I'd sleep in a con candy bed. Just buy all that with money. Huh? What do you mean? That's too many wishes? That's why you wish for money. I mean, even if the deal was only one wish, couldn't I just start by asking for a hard more? I mean, if that wish, that actually works, and it's not to the killy, you know, like... Not one of those things where it's like, oh, you can't wish for more wishes. I've already granted that or some arbitrary rule, then yeah, that is a better wish. That's just basic stuff, surely. Okay, that kind of, kind of stupid, huh? Anyway, anyway, listen to this. Kazuma, Kazuma. Hi. What am I listening to? Is there a tragic backstory? Hmm, <laughs>
Ah, so pretty. Flowers and multitude of colors. <laughs> These flowers are so... Very pretty. They'd be prettier with money. Claire Elford. Directed by Hideo Kojima. My name is Claire Elford. I like cute things and pretty things and beautiful things. And Manly Bass Hero. Go subscribe to him today. It's, I'm just girly like that. But, I mean, look at this place. That huge flower field. Yay! I found it when I first came to this mountain. It was love at first sight. Ever since then, I've spent most weekends in this field. Even though it's a little far from my house. But hey, the effort it takes to walk here means nothing before such beauty. In fact, don't you think the effort of coming here makes the beauty worth even more? Yes, actually. Oh no. It's raining. Huh? Never me do that cliché. A storm's coming. A literal storm. But also a figurative one at the same time. It's mortal layers and nuance. Oh man. You're kidding me, right? Ah, it's cold. Maybe it's just a passing shower. But talk about bad luck. Is there anywhere I can hide from the rain? Here's a brief explanation of controls. Press the ESC key to explain the menu. For the menu, most notably, you can save or use equip items. Also, you can dash by pressing the shift key plus the arrow key, standard. All you need for now, we'll then take care. The story begins. Prologue. I have a health bar and I have a rainbow bar when I want to use my rainbow powers to um, promote happiness and love anime. Ooh, look at this fancy menu. Ooh, look at this box here. It's got a custom icon. Oh, it's got a collection box. Ooh, look at that. It's a nice puzzle from the riverside. Oh, look at all these menus. Oh, there's a star of the key things to show it's important. And it's transparent. Oh, there's a status. It's custom portraits for the status. It's kind of like this guy. Ooh. What's in that noise? What a cool menu. I'm excited now. Feeling pretty motivated. It's like an item. Did you want the top right? Man, we should have really packed an umbrella. Maybe an iPad. I could have doubled as one. Wow. Who knew there was a mansion up here? Oh? Oh my 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 my. Hello there. Good day to you. Might you be from this mansion here? No, I'm not. What? Well, that startled me. Why is this guy abruptly starting up a conversation? You have a nice little bow. A ribbon. In that case, what finds you in such a place as this? I was just looking for somewhere to take shelter from the rain. We say as we're standing in the rain. Shelter? Why? That's just what I'm seeking, too. Anyone else notice in the grave out front? My name is Ash Bradley. I'm but a humble traveler. But for there to be such a mansion up here, I suppose it's lucky for us both, indeed. You're a little too excited. Ash Bradley. Played by Johnny Depp. By the way, what is your name? I'm Claire Elford. Claire! Miss Claire Elford. I see, I see. Alas, all I can think of say is... A stock. What a nice name that is. I'm terribly sorry to say so. 
No doubt a name brimming of love with which your parents chose it. My parents hate me. They chose this name because it's bad luck. Goodness gracious, how fantastic! And yet this rain. It's as if the sky weeps. What a deplorable thing. If only I could, I'd like to go up to the heavens and console the sky. Oh, I hope it stops soon. This guy's just bursting with energy, huh? The story begins, day one. Saving your game. The witch Dorothy rests here. Which? Which one? Ah! It appears to be a passing shower. I'm sure we'll see soon enough. Yeah, I'm going inside. Oh, you look like edgy, serious guy. Whoops. Excuse me. Gluardo Adler. Also played by Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp is a very versatile actor. Wow, rude. Um, he went right in? Perhaps he's from this mansion? Who knows? Seeing as we're here, I'll go ask if it's alright to stay inside for a bit. Should we, should we not be sending you? You seem like you're annoying. Um, in that case, I'm going in too. <laughs> Welcome to Doom. 64. Yeah, this is the part where you turn around. You're like, hey, this is pretty bad. You know. As soon as you enter a mansion and there's dancing blood demons aligning your path and the crown turns into some kind of moving texture, that's about the time you just leave. You're like, you know what? A little bit of rain never hurt anybody except when it gave you a cold and you die. But comparatively, it's better. This place. Oof, 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 oof. Huh? What? My head feels like it's splitting, because it is. That... That is the thing. Kef Krof... Nik Am Undu Asado Satonu? I think it also says something about, like, Minecraft sucks. I can speak parts from monsters. I think that was in there somewhere. Day one. <laughs> what is it? Um, um, it's nothing. What was that a second ago? I see. Well then, let's look for the resident of the mansion. What are you doing here? Affection. Night Paradise. You know, I think this might actually be an actual RPG. So I see actual stats here, and there's, there is a health bar. Vacation to the Great Witch Dorothy. It's a strangely colored liquid. Is this medicine? Lots of witch's heart storybooks. It's a strange design drawn on it. Dearest Maria. Storeroom. Locked. Hello? Is anyone there? Hmm. Locked. 
Don't even know. Hello, anyone here? Is there any traps? Antique fireplace. Knife? Okay, we can't take a knife. We're not that smart. Bathroom. Locked. We're in a load of trouble then. Modest dream. Multicolored rooms. Hello there. Oh wow, you have some kind of red... Weird red blade ahoge? You're like... You're like a rooster version of Ryuko. Or something. With her little red hair strand. Bah. Why wouldn't it open? Should I kick the damn thing down? What do you want? Get lost. Shoo. No one talks to me like that. Not even me. The guy's a big meanie. Let's get out of here. Oh, you found the man from earlier. Ah, the second floor. I'll be right there. Go pester him with your annoyance personality. Um, so then... You aren't from this mansion? That's kind of what I've been telling you the whole time. Oh, I see. You walked in here so unhesitatingly. I got the wrong idea. But then, are you not trespassing? You're here with me, so you are too. Oh, wow. Cut ourselves on that edge. And by edge, I mean his hair. And by his hair, I mean that red strand. He's right. There is a red thing behind us, like from earlier. Woo. Huh. What is that? It's a monster. Whoa. Why is no one helping me? Why is it chasing me only? Okay, there you guys are. Huh? No way! It won't open! Oh dear, 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 what should we do? I got a gun. Blap, blap. It, it vanished. Guess that proves physical attacks work on these monsters. Good thing I'm a paranormal cop. Got my spirit gun. Physical tax. You Claire Field's battle tutorial? Yes. Claire uses melee attacks. Press enter or Z when enemies near to perform an attack. Ah, so it's a top-down fighter. Her attacks have a range, up to 2,000 in front of her. If you land a hit, your opponent will take damage. What do they call this type of game? Like, it's like a top-down RPG. I think, like, Secret of Mana is, like, one of them. It's pressing Shift plus Enter will use up some of the rainbow gauge in the top left to perform a special attack. Oh, no, okay. Now I'll try to defeat the enemy in this room. Don't worry, it's just a tutorial so you can't die. Thank God. Super Kick. We win! Wonderful. Seems you've got the hang of it. There also is a unique ability that lets her destroy pots. <laughs> unique ability to destroy pots. So every character's gonna go up to that pot and be like, Well, there's a key in there, but I can't destroy that pot because that's not my special ability. Despite me... And I can't reach my hand into it to get the key because that's also, you know, that's cheating. Let's go get Claire! Be number person. The special ability is open doors, not locked doors. Just open them. Like I can't open the doorknob without my special ability. 
plus five door opening. Pots can contain useful items. Let's be sure to make use of it. Thank you, rupees. This ends the tutorial. Okay, good luck. I see. So you're saying we can beat these guys if we try? Do you suppose a knife is enough? When did you get that knife? Oh, there's a whole bunch. Hi. We're not stopping them like this. Let's hide somewhere. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me cover myself and think about this. Okay. So they're moving. Well, let's go upstairs then. Do I have like party members or what? No, it's just me. Of course it would be just me. Can I hide in the, the kitchen? We well, can break pots, right? There's pots in here. Whew. Me and him will get them to unlock the door. You hold this shut. Understood. Let's carry over something close by first. Right. Hold on. What's the matter? It looks like they can't come in here. Eh? I can hear them moaning outside, but nothing's pushing the door at all. There's a magic circle drawn on the door. Secretly, they're just scared of high fructose foods. Er, bad dieting in there. And when they get close, it glows bright. This must be a magical ward. Your hair is so distracting. A magical ward. Ah, oh, yes. I've read of those in books. Wow. It really is glowing. Um, I wonder how this works. But at any rate, it seems we're safe. What is wrong if you're a hoge? What are we gonna do now? Can't just stay here forever. That's true. We need to think how to get out of here. So how might we do that? Um, there were windows on the second floor. Perhaps we might be able to escape out of there. It's a tad dangerous, of course. What if you're a traitor? You were here first. If that's all we've got, let's try it. Okay. Let's head on once we're ready. We'll be fine because I'm a pound no more cop and I got a gun. Blat blat. Huh? Huh? Won't budge. No way. Wanna try breaking it? Uh, should we really do that? It's an emergency. Who cares if someone complains? We can cross that bridge when we come to it. You're right. But we certainly can't do it barehanded. What should we do? Use the gun. I have an idea what could break it. Oh, really? Yes, just wait just a moment. I'll bring it here. Why not the gun? Or the knife? You guys just gonna stand here while these things are roaming around? Oh, I see how it is. Do I get anything about killing him? Like, is there experience? Uh, I don't know. Whoa, whoa, whoa.
Huh, oh, there's more of this place than we really didn't look at. Barrel's empty. Like... A empty barrel. You thought I was gonna say, like, my soul, weren't you? You think I'm some kind of one-trick pony just spouting memes? Like a YouTuber? But this pot is empty like my soul. Break the pots already. Maybe it has to be very specific pots. Well, this is it. This frying pan. Why have the frying pan out of everything? This would be nice and easy to swing. I mean, it is blunt heavy metal, so it's not a bad idea, but like... Should just use the gun. Whoa! That's gotta be Dorothy. Is that a frying pan? Yes. Excuse me for a second. Ah! Well, it worked. There was like no magical barrier or anything. No hesitation, huh? It broke! I did it. We can surely make our way out from here. Ooh, 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 that's pretty high. Also, no, we're stuck in space. That's an issue, too. Eh? What? What is this? There's no ground. You're kidding, right? Pretty pebble I found by the riverside. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Goodbye! No, not Pretty Pebble. It never hit the ground. Huh? Then we're completely trapped. Your hair is so distracting. No way. Who'd think of that hairstyle? Witch's Heart will be back after these messages from our sponsors. We know we can't get out now, so what do we do? Gotta find out why, of course. Not being able to leave is a real problem. Indeed. But acting as a group's too inefficient. Let's split for now. I hate to do it, but very well. It's not that large of a place. Let's report back if we find anything. Also, Miss Claire, would you put that frying pack pan back where it was? Is that what you care about right now? Okay, you got it. I'm so very sorry to ask you that after you brought it here. All right, disperse. You just gonna stay here? You're a little suspicious. That's strange. Better save. Oh no, you get out of here. I like your I like your design aesthetically though. It's much better than Rooster. Rooster Bishon or whatever. I don't like the, the upbeat Genki characters though, but you know. Design wise are fun. Pure girl. Just like me. The barrel's empty. Map of the world. The match of location is circled in red crayon. Break the pots. Yeah! That's some good rage. It's me. Some kind of plant. I was trying to see if it was like an Easter egg if I wouldn't dump there enough. Maybe I just didn't do it enough. Who knows? Back to the kitchen. How are you doing? 
I hear noises from the other room. The door to it's locked, but maybe there's someone inside. Sure thing, Booster Bishonen. I guess I'll put it back where it was. You asked us to put it back where it was. Now, if you maybe are the master of the house, I'm probably just thinking way too early about this. Maybe you're all like, grabbing my pots. Best put it back. Huh. I am not one to question secrets. This is normal. Loot? No. I mean, it's a nice place. It's kind of like we're in Princess Serenity's castle. Who are you? Bunny girl, well, bunny fiend. We well, might be a bunny girl, we don't know yet. With one broken rabbit ear. And red eyes, which are suspicious. Alright, I got to meet you before her. You're just so curious, Claire. I knew you'd come here. Charlotte. Played by Johnny Depp. In fact, everyone's played by Johnny Depp. Except Claire. The Robert Downey Jr. Scissors. My name's Charlotte. So hey, welcome to the Monster Mansion. Those guys are after you, you know. And me? Well, I want to finish my job quickly, so... Uh-oh. Die for me, Claire. I now understand the maze. What? Do you catch me? Is there a bad end? You might have to catch me for real. You go for the walls. <laughs> he caught you. You were just unlucky. Forgive me. Nope. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of witches. Oh, wow, this place is stacked. We're in trouble. Now I will run away with this music that reminds me of something like from Super Nintendo. Go, we are really fast. That is a good thing. Let's never speak of this again. Just like that one time. You know when. What was that about? Ah, oh, too bad. Am I being attacked by the narrator? Yeah, I'm definitely saving after that one. <laughs> 